Hello all you fine people, I am Pheasant Chromatic here with some Pokemon trading card game online. What we're doing today, playing a little bit of playing some meme decks. Just some decks that I've tossed around. They're not good. They're not like really bad. Uh, I got a couple wins in here. Um, uh, first of all, I'd like to apologize for the overall quality. Uh, this mic kind of sucks. My other one's broken. So I'm using this old one. And yeah, it's bad. Also, you can hear my dog barking. Uh, she will not shut up. Uh, but I love her. And I hope that she gets better. <laughs> so, we're starting out with some Wishy Washy GX. Basic premise. Uh, you got your Wishy Washy GX. Uh, its attack is School Swarm or something like that. School Storm. And. Uh, it does 20 times damage for the amount of Wishy Washy on the field. Uh, Wishy Washy GX and Wishy Washy. Also, uh, the regular Wishy Washy I have, it has Meet Up, which does plus 20 damage for all Wishy Washy attacks, uh, all Wishy Washy GX attacks, and plus 20 health to all Wishy Washy GX. So basically, it does plus 40 damage because School Storm does 20 for all Wishy Washy, plus the 20 that you get from the wishy-washy on the field, uh, that ability. <coughs> yeah, as you can see there, school storm. It also has massive catch, which is why I usually like to go second, because then you can use massive catch on your first turn. And, uh, yeah, it sometimes hits. Uh, it doesn't hit a lot of times, if we're honest. But, you know, it sometimes hits. So, the first deck we're up against is this, uh, fairy deck. Uh, using Sylvan GX right now. Uh, this is a narration. Uh, so it's as effect, so I know exactly how this goes. Uh, it, it, yeah, it doesn't go super well. Uh, I actually don't have a great day with this. Um, I'm not really on the grind right now. Uh, I already got the uh, ladder rewards for this. Uh, for this span, I guess. However long, it's like 20 days or something they usually do, like three weeks. Um, I already have the ladder rewards, so right now I'm just kind of just getting a couple wins for coins. Um, I'm trying to build up uh, the next set whenever that comes out because I know it's coming out pretty soon. I couldn't tell you the exact day, uh, but I know it's coming out pretty soon. See, so yeah, they play the the Gladion, which I've always like. It's a it's a pretty good card, you know. You kind of just get to tutor one of six and hope it's something you need. Uh, Magical Ribbon, obviously, which is what they've, what their Sylvan has. Oh yeah, they have a computer search, which is always fun. I love facing these like old Plasma era cards because like all, almost all the Pokemon from Plasma are like bad. Uh, like the ones I can think of are like the, um, oh, what's it called, the Helix Force. Uh, uh, shit, what's it called? The old Twisty Boy. Uh, fucking Deoxys, Deoxyribonucleic Acid, yeah. <coughs> so yeah, uh, they're just magical ribboning three cards, which is super fun when I don't have an end. Um, super good when you don't have an end. Um, I do have School Storm though, so that's fun. Uh, yeah. I'm just trying to build up my back line right now. Knockout, so it's fun, but yeah, this board of war has got the infinite force on it. Which uh feels a lot of damage as it turns out. <coughs> also, I'm sick. And I've been sick for like three weeks. Shit in my throat, shit in my face. It's uh I don't know, it sucks. I, I somehow have like pneumonia or something. Um it's whatever. I'm living. I'm just an icon living, personally. Yeah, the is for 180, uh, with all... No, with three out, I would live. With three wishy-washies, I give plus 20 HP out of that. Because that, that would put me up to uh, 190. Um, yeah, with four, I'm up to 210, which... 210 survives a lot. Not everything, but a lot. <coughs> Doing Cynthia, yeah, just to get Pokemon. I just need them. 
I need to deal as much damage as, as physically possible. Kill this thing. Now, he does a kind of interesting move here. Probably not what I would have done. I probably would have just went in and gone for the kill. Um, yeah, it takes him a fucking second. A hot minute to make any plays. Yeah, he max potions, which is surprising in that it gets rid of all your energy. But, you know, obviously with uh, Glaine's ability, Secret Spring, or Guardivar's ability, Secret Spring. I mean, yeah, it basically makes you come back from having no energy pretty easily. It is a pretty neat little combo, but then it doesn't kill me. But, it's still dealing a shit ton of damage, and he's able to do it multiple times, and he gets out of the sense Wondrous Labyrinth, which sucks. And this is kind of the thing that kills me. Um, I do run some Sky Fields, but it costs one more for me to attack. My decision now is like, well, do I try to build up my back line? Or do I try to attack and deal damage? I really only have one choice. I have to attack and deal damage. I can try to get my sky field out to negate that. But what I can really do is attack and deal damage. Just try to get the damage done. Unfortunately, we didn't draw sky field. And, uh... Yeah. This does not last too much longer, I don't believe. Burst of Seekers. Get some of the Skyla back. Skyla. Very good card. Just tutor for kind of whatever you want. Honestly. Uh, whatever... Item or... Uh, what is it? It's, it, it tutors for trainers? I believe so. So stadiums, items, other supporters. Here for whatever you need. Pretty good. Here for an N. Uh, yeah, so I feel like Mr. Mine this is my only non wishy washy. I think I have one or two. I'm actually not sure if that one. I think it's one. Um, so I didn't. Oh, also, Silent Lab is very bad and immediately kills mine. Uh, wishy washy because it gets rid of all my wishy washy, my regular wishy washy abilities to make me not die to things. The plus 20 ability to attack, and they lose the plus 20 ability to lose P, and they die. And then they that instant force on there. And, uh, yeah. I have the sky field, but at this point, it's kind of too late. I'm doing my best to rebuild. But, uh, I know at this point my fate is pretty sealed. I go for the desperation move of just bring out the Tapu Lele and hoping they have no ability to switch and just hoping that I can survive a couple more turns to get something built up. Uh, yeah. But they immediately take out the Sky Field and with the Fairy Garden. That gives them free retreat. in which isn't a big deal but it's a big enough deal that it doesn't that give them free retreat no it gives them free retreat we just put an energy on there and yeah we're dead but hey you know, it's, you know we came out you know we here we we tried tried for the win and it didn't happen so we're going on our next opponent just, just trying to get a win here with Wishy Washy. I win. I choose to go first, which was a mistake. I don't like to do that. It's not a big deal anyway, because I start out with a wishy-washy, uh, which isn't like super helpful. Starting out with those is not great. Yeah. 
So he starts out with this dracoon, starting out with this little wishy-washy. I've debated on whether I should have just put the energy on the wishy-washy and retreated him, or just waited for him to knock him out and put the wishy-washy back in my hand, but my energy would obviously get discarded. He plays Welder, which I still think is kind of super broken. Um, I know a lot of the decks right now run Welder and just are fired to run Welder, which is kind of convenient for me because I play Water, which is fire weak to it. But, ah, God, it's a good fucking card, right? Like, am I crazy? Or is it a really good fucking card to just put two fire energy on, draw two cards? Like, that's really good. What the fuck? Two, putting two energy on is not the same as dealing 20 damage. It's not even close. And considering Professor Kakui, Kakui, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, is also a supporter, and you can play just as many of him as you can Welder, that's kind of ridiculous. So I get a decent massive catch out of it. That's Sorry. Alright, once again, I'm dying here. Um, so, unfortunately, big problem, no energy. Uh, I really need, need the energy to attack. I usually do not have problems with energy in this. I have like, uh, 14 or 15. Um, a couple colorless just draw energies. But, you know, not a big deal. Uh, I got a couple professor's letters in here, which is super good. Um, but yeah, I'm just having uh, weird energy problems with this game. Uh, nothing like too bad though. Yeah, nothing too out of the ordinary. I have a uh, blues tactics, which is obviously a good card. But the problem is, is of course, I can't use it to get energy. It's like the one problem is if you like really, really need something right now, you it's just kind of useless. Like you then you have to wait till your next turn. That's the whole thing. Yeah, he retreats to get out the heat more, is that what that is? Pull out the revive from my wishy-washy, my washy-wishy. Oh, uh, heat ran, that's what I meant. Which, is like kind of weird. Well, it's not that weird, but it's so weird to be like, oh, man, I really hope he doesn't have one energy, then he'll immediately kill my <laughs> my heat ram, that, and then he'll get two prizes. Like, kind of a weird train of thought to have, I guess. Then I immediately kill a heat ram, and I immediately get two prizes, and now he has no Pokemon with any energy. I don't know, it's just kind of an odd thing that you would hope about, I guess. Ah, Kogan's Trap. Kogan's Trap. Uh, a classic. A uh, new staple, kind of. I see a lot of them. The, uh, it's the confusion. It's just, confusion is very, very good. Uh, this is an interesting move. The Triple Acceleration Dragon's Wish. <laughs> yeah, uh, the Triple Acceleration Energy to play Dragon's Wish. Which allows you to put as many energy on your Pokemon as you want next turn. Which is, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> and that allows you to uh, do a lot of busted things, but looking at his board right now, there's like not a whole lot of busted things he could do. Definitely one thing is if he evolved that uh, Dragonair into a Dragonite GX, or GX, then yeah, you're looking at all, facing down a lot of power, but... With only three cards in hand, that means he's not gonna have that much energy unless he nabs something. Um, yeah, fail. That's why uh, Koga's Trap's real good. Because it can kill you. <laughs> I mean, you get enough tails on Koga's Trap, you're dead and you're screwed. So the Cynthia, allowing you to get up to six. You know, definitely kind of fearing this Dragon's Wish. Uh, put down another heat ram, and nothing, yeah, he misses that dragon. I'm kind of in shock right now, uh, I'm just kind of looking at him like, wait, why, did he just, did he just play, 
Did you just play any dragons with this and not put any energy down? Or uh, not a uh, yeah, volcano again. You just I was like, dragons are stupid. I was like, I played the triple acceleration, that's... What? Oh man, the desperation, I guess. That is, that's rough, man, that is rough. So anyway, I had to hit him with school storm. Yeah. Um, I usually keep uh, a po I think I got two Pokemon Center ladies in here. I've got a couple switches. Uh, they're just not coming up. You know, it happens. Um, I'm not too concerned about it right now. Obviously, he doesn't have a whole lot that threatens me. Yeah, he just doesn't have a whole lot in general. Very clear. Uh, now that's threatening. The rare candy Dragonite GX and teammates. I was gonna get whatever he wants. Two of whatever he wants, even. I was gonna throw down. I believe that's a double dragon. Uh, the way I'm doing this narration, I don't have great uh, vision. I can't totally see it. Um, and unfortunately, obviously, it doesn't work. So, yeah. But I'm just hitting these school storms. I'm I got the I'm dealing, I think that's 250 damage. My max I can deal is 270. If I play Professor Quad, which I don't think I've ever done. I've had a couple very close to max. That's obviously one. And then he plays the triple acceleration. I just to get some some prizes, I guess. I don't know, man. He's kinda reaching. Uh plays the double dragon, plays the triple acceleration. Throws out a Mewtwo Mew um partner or tag team. Cool. You know? Really, uh, a good good card, I guess. You know, it's it's a fine card, sure. Um kinda odd. Normally you see that with basically just GX Pokemon. Uh, but yeah. So I... I got the Wishy Washy back, thanks to the energy. Uh, sitting here able to do 250 damage. Uh, actually not quite that much, 240 I think. Yeah, uh, the other one had that Fighting Fury belt on me. Which I used to have Muscle Band. But I'm definitely full on switch to fighting period though. The plus 40 HP is uh, too bad. I think. It's real good. This Dragon Claw doesn't even really hurt me. I mean, it deals over half damage, but it doesn't really hurt me. And uh, yeah, cool storm. But I'm done with our first victory of the day. So, uh, so it's called Squad W. And from our mission, this is fucking token. This is dope. Um, I'm definitely just planning on saving those. I used to just buy Cosmic Eclipse because there's so much good shit in Cosmic Eclipse. Um, but I have a lot of what Cosmic Eclipse has to offer, I guess. I mean, there's good shit in it, but obviously with tokens you can't trade. Kind of sucks. There's not a whole lot I really want. I'd I I'd, I'd enjoy having a Mewtwo deck, but that's a lot of GX Pokemon, man. That is a lot of them. Yeah, right now I'm just looking at my my wins. These, I have a bunch of decks. I've been playing for a long time, if you can't tell. Uh, but yeah, 37.59, I believe the grand total of that, I did the calculations, it's like a 62% win rating, which I think is my highest of any deck, which is maybe a little sad, but also like, I mean, it's passing, kind of, uh, if I get a 62 in a class, I'd definitely not be happy, 
But if I passed it, you know who cares? If it's your non-major class, usually they let you. They they say that's a pass. If it's a major class, they uh. Well, they sometimes don't, but you know it's whatever. Uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna switch my card sleeves over. Uh, those are the beta reward sleeves. You know, I'm, I've been playing since beta, so you know, I uh, I got that good shit. Yeah. Uh, if you've been playing since beta, you'll know uh, the how fun tokens used to be. They used to literally just throw tokens at you. It you did they did not give a fuck because tokens used to only give you. Um, Oh, as you can see, my, my one deck box that's still... I haven't edited the deck, because if you edit the deck, that deck box goes away, but as long as you keep the deck like that, you get to keep the deck box the deck box like that. So I'm planning on forever having that fucking ugly ass... Oh, shit, I'm just talking about uh, how much I hate challenges right now. Um, yeah, because, like, one of them's dark and get a thousand damage or whatever, and, you know, when you're like me, and I don't pay for anything, so I just have, like, random cards... Uh, Shadow Connection is a really fucking good ability, by the way. And you just have random cards. It's just like, well, you know, yeah, if I get out my Darkrai Espeon, I'll probably win, but, you know, if not, what do I fucking kill with? Is Aurorark? Night Punishment? Yay, that deals like maybe 100 damage every turn. That, uh, another Zorark dealing good, maybe 80 damage, maybe not, you know? It's just, they're not, and you know, if I, if I used Brutal Bash, like, effectively, maybe, if I had Skyfields and stuff, and I really built a deck just around getting Brutal Bash. I could see putting in a decent amount, but right now this is just, yeah, it's kind of just a flex deck. Uh, I'm commenting about how weird it is to have the two Pokemon Center ladies so randomly far apart. They just randomly have two cards in between them. I don't really understand what's with that. But yeah, and then my one little uh, gold dark energy. It's always fun. My little foil gold dark darkness energy. Um Yeah, so we're just gonna play a couple more games with Wishy Washy and then we'll go into some of the other decks that I have. Um, I really only play with like three decks. I have a couple others just for, um, just, just for challenges mostly. I have like one standard deck that the only reason it wins is because every once in a while you'll join a standard game and the opponent will immediately quit. It actually happens pretty regularly, so it actually gets a decent amount of wins just from joining games and people quitting. So that's always convenient. Yeah, starting out, obviously, bad hand. Oh, I always like those black and white hexagons. Those are like the first cards. Those are like the only thing I've ever bought with tokens. Back when tokens could only buy you cosmetic things. Um, yeah, you could not get regular cards with tokens. You had, you could only buy cosmetics. Which made me be like, okay, so they're pointless. Because I never used them. Luckily, I, I say friend. I had a friend. He wasn't really a friend. Uh, he was a guy I knew, and we were talking about Pokemon. He was like, oh, dude, do you want this, like, stack of, like, 50 code cards that I have? And I was like, I mean, hell yeah. <laughs> like, I don't... Sure thing, dude. <laughs> he was like, well, I mean, I don't have these for like, Yeah, hell yeah, I'll take them. So, luckily, he gave me, like, a bunch of cards, and I was able to... Uh, build a decent little collection off of that. But now you can just buy packs using tokens, which is super convenient. Unfortunately, you still can't trade them, but what are you gonna do? You know, I guess they gotta make money somehow, and I guess that's how they would do it? I don't know, man. Yeah, so finally I get to go second. Use massive catch. Fail, because I'm confused, which is bullshit. I shouldn't do damage to myself if I wouldn't have done damage to you. But it's fine. I guess I run into the wall or something. Or I'm a fish, so I run into the floor bottom. The bottom of the sea floor. So yeah, it's whatever. 
It's fine. I'm it's I'm not I'm not bitter. I'm just disappointed, really. Yeah, something's in this darkness day. And oh yeah. I remember how this goes. If you wanna know how this goes, uh that fucking uh what's it called? Snivel, Snevile? Whatever Weavile evolves from. It's just I fail on the massive catch. Maybe dumb, I maybe should have attacked. I'll fully admit that. Um, I just wanted some more wishy-washy out here so I can buff up my tag and buff up my health. Cynthia, shuffle in, get six. Really solid. I love Cynthia. I think it's a, it's a pretty good for extended draw. A lot of people, N is obviously a staple in a lot because of tutoring, uh, with uh, Steven's Resolve, with Magical Ribbon, with whatever else lets you search up stuff to put in your hand. Uh, yeah, he's got that sweet Greninja Zoroark. And he deals this massive amount of fucking damage. 90 fucking damage to me from beat up. That was ridiculous. All of a sudden I got 180 damage on me. Uh, I, my max is 190. I'm about to fucking die. Like, when I pass turn, this dude will be dead. So, uh, yeah, I go for the Cynthia because I don't want to give him the two extra cards off the end. And I get no Pokemon. I get nothing. I have, n there is nothing I can do. I have this Mr. Mind, so I just concede. I, I don't want to die. I hate doing that. Because I usually like give them at least one knockout. Because I know they have challenges and stuff, probably. But I did not want to die to that fucking Snivy. The Snivy I forget what it's called, man. I'm a, I'm an old guy, so I, I forget a lot of things like that. I know it's Weavile, I know it evolves in a Weavile, but I cannot remember what its base is called. Ugh. I can go first, absolutely not. No, thank you. Uh, this is a pretty okay start. I usually, the, like, the best start I can have is some energy, some draw, uh, and then big one, uh, you gotta have the Pokemon Fan Club. Pokemon Fan Club is actually the best card in this deck. Um, I will say that about several cards, but Pokemon, Pokemon Fan Club is actually really fucking good in this deck. Um, it just draws you. It just, you get two, I, I, I usually just get the two wishy-washy, uh, two base wishy-washy. Uh, unless I don't have a GX and I get at least one GX. Um, this is gonna be another short game. You'll see here. You'll see why here real quickly. Um, I get absolutely cucked on this, by the way. Uh, yeah. So let's see. My opponent's taking kind of forever. That's okay. You got a lot to think about, opponent. You got a lot to think about. Once again, a lot to think about here. Oh shit, you can kind of hear me. This is me trying to talk because this mic kind of sucks. So... It works in this, it works in narration because I can change the levels, but it did not work in stream at all. I, in fact, got raided at one point with like eight viewers, and they all left like immediately. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, so the Keldeo. Kind of sucks, but here's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping I can nab this stealthy hood, slap it on my GX, and go to town. Uh, cause the Keldeo GX prevents attacks from 
GX or EX Pokemon from dealing damage to it. Which is really fucking good. It's real good. So right now, I'm basically just digging for that stealth hood. <coughs> I get a really good massive catch though. Three to this massive catch. Really good. Massive catch looks at the top 12, and you would be shocked. I have eight Pokemon in this deck. Like, so, eight and 60, I guess you expect one every eight. So I guess this is actually not that shocking how often I get zero. Especially when you consider that I usually have one or two in here. On the field. But still. I feel like I should be pulling more. Well, I mean, one and... And then you have the six, and it's four, and then you've usually drawn at least, like, uh, maybe ten, so that's like forty-four. So you're looking at, like, six and forty-four. So you're looking at one and six, so I should be getting at least two. Um, or one and seven, I guess. But... Thanks, whatever. So yeah, I have the Stealthy Hood. I'm pumped, cause I cause Stealthy Hood says, like, ignore the effects of your opponent's uh, ignore the effects of your opponent's abilities, and I think that that applies to Keldeo GX. Um, well, we'll see how that how that theory goes here in a little bit. Uh, I think I'm peeing right now, unfortunately. There we go. Slap the energy on. Slap the stealthy hood on. Let's go to town. It ignores all effects of opponent's abilities. We're getting the heads. We're drawing four. Let's go. I'd probably use the dive ball. Um, to nab another wishy-washy. Yeah. Let's go. School storm. And yeah, cut. Um, prevent all effects of your opponent's abilities done to this Pokemon this card is attached to. Remove any such existing effects. I guess, here's how I reconciled it in my brain. Um, Keldeo GX's attack, pure heart, pure heart, ignore, so its ability does not affect your Pokemon. Its ability only affects itself. So the ability acts on itself to ignore damage done by Pokemon GX. It does not affect the Pokemon GX to prevent damage dealt to it. If that makes sense, if I explain that well. There's a couple instances in Magic the Gathering, which is kind of my more main game, but I kind of don't like MTG Arena. I don't know, I just usually play this. So, it's probably just because I have way more cards than this. But anyway, so, yeah, so right now I'm just like, uh, fuck it, let's water gun it to me. Like, I don't know, I'm desperate, and it didn't have any energy on it before, so I'm like, fuck it, let's go for it. And he's using potion, which, personally, I do not find those useful at all. Like, the potions, the big masaldas. The big masalda would actually be but, um, yeah. I I ain't gonna bother with it. And, I, and then I look at his deck just to see what the hell he was doing. And it's literally just a flex deck. All of his Pokemon are, are full art. He's got this gold potion. He's got shine. He's got foils. He's got more full art trainers and supporters. It's literally just a flex deck. He's just flexing on us. He's got these foil energy. This is all for the flex. And... I was, you know, hey, because like the Slowpoke and Psyduck, none of these, none of these cards have any, um, have any synergy with each other other than they're all water types. Like most people who play Magikarp Waylord do not attack with Magikarp Waylord. They just have it there to soak up damage and win the game through decking or some shit. People who play uh, Slowpoke Psyduck usually do some kind of Misty's resolve with it um, to get three energy and then or three supporters into your hand and then use um, Mermaid's Call uh, Lapras Mermaid's Call to get Misty's resolve back into your hand uh, and they can swing huge with these Psyduck slow pokes but yeah so not a great uh, day for the wishy-washy deck and I think this is where I decided Let's switch up decks. Um, 
Do I say this? Oh no. Well, first of all, I'm fucking editing this since obviously I'm gonna take out stealth hood because I thought stealth hood would work against stuff like Caldeo GX against um, uh, what's it called? Alolan uh, Nine Tails. I thought it would work against that stuff. It does not. So I still gotta figure out what exactly I'm gonna do against that. I do some quick research to try to find where the like how to get around it, how to get around them. I do not find anything, um, unfortunately. There's just, there's nothing there. Uh, my only options are really to play a non-GX Pokemon. Um, I used to run a Suicune, uh, that actually prevented damage from the EX Pokemon itself. But, that's not super useful to me. Um, I'm considering running a uh, I'm considering running something like a well I would like to run the Keldeo actually. Uh, I was thinking about just running the Keldeo. That way I can just put out Keldeo against Keldeo. It still leaves the Alola Nine Tails. Also, there's, I forget what it is, but I know there's a Pokemon out there that does, um, it prevents attacks done by basics, which really screws me because I don't want to put anything that's not a basic in that deck. Because I feel like if I do, it's just going to mess with the core too much. And, like, at what point is, is it worth it to just cut my losses and say, screw it? Um, so I'm considering maybe... The Keldeo would be somewhat nice, especially because sometimes that can just win you games. Um, <laughs> you can just be like, hi, I play this, and you can't deal damage to me, so I win the game. I do have, however, I believe a couple Alolan Vulpixes and one Alolan Ninetales. I'm considering maybe running one of each. That would prevent damage done by GX Pokemon, such as Keldeo GX. That would deal damage to Keldeo GX, because it's not a GX. That would deal damage to, obviously, a level 9 Tails. And that would deal damage to the thing that prevents uh, damage from basic Pokemon. It's, uh, I don't know, it's something to think about. Obviously, I don't want the Vulpix and the um, Nine Tails to clog me up too much. However, I did just play a deck with a card that did nothing, uh, the Stealth Hood. So really, how much worse could I be doing? I'll take out a, uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know what else I'd take out. Um, maybe the Mr. Mime. Me and the Mr. Mime go back and forth a lot. It's really convenient because there's stuff like linear attack. There's stuff like, ooh, later we'll get to see a very fun one, uh, but I won't spoil that for you. I get absolutely wrecked. Um, <laughs> There's a couple of attacks that deal damage to bench Pokemon, and when Wishy Washy only has 30 HP, and is a very core component of this deck, is the core component, I'd say, uh, we can want to we want to protect those, obviously. So. Hello, everyone. It is Joe here from Omnipoke, the channel that brings you guys everything. Hey, that was weird. Um, <laughs> so when it deals damage like that, it is. It is very convenient to have the Mr. Mime there. However, it's just, I don't know if it happens enough for me to deal with it. There's also the, because there's also just so many other ways it happens. There's, I've faced Water Shurik and Greninjas, which just snipe my shit from the bench. Just bam, 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 and then I just give them four prizes, basically. Not good. There's the, um, supporter, I forget what he's called, but he just deals three damage to target creature on the bench. Not convenient at all. Like, that, and they're not stopping Mr. Mime's bench barrier. They just aren't. So, uh, yeah, I end up just trying to figure out what I'm doing. And for the time being, just going through Hustle Belt, no. Uh, I ended up looking at Island Challenge Amulet just because I remember it's banned. Um, I'm like, oh yeah, Island Challenge Amulet is banned for, because of fucking Jirachi GX or whatever. Uh, 
an inn or something. That's always a fun one. Looking around, I say, you know what? Fuck it. Let's put another Lysander in there. Lysander? Lysander might be my favorite card in the game. I believe I have Lysander in every single deck. It is so fucking good. It's, it is so good. It basically reads, destroy, knock out, whatever, one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That's what it reads, usually. For me, when I, how I play it, that's what it reads. It reads, knock out opponent's bench Pokemon, or it reads, save one of your one of your Pokemon from being knocked out. That's pretty good. That is pretty damn good. You just be like, uh, yeah, no, I'm just gonna ignore... Oh, you're gonna try to attack me? I'm just gonna Lysander out a different Pokemon. That has this huge retreat cost, and you can't retreat it, and then... Hopefully you don't have a Switch or a Guzma or an Escape Rope or something. Yeah, that's just, uh, one of the decks we've been playing. I think we... I'm not sure how many more we play with Wishy Washy. I know we play at least one more. Uh, if it's against the grass deck, that's a real fun one. I, uh, oh man, that's a fun deck. <laughs> ah, yes, the grass deck. Uh, yes, in case you're wondering, I lose this. <laughs> I choke this out. Hard. Uh, it's a really fun watch though, and I think it's actually a really great. I guess it's a learning lesson. I guess it's something. I'll tell you that much. I usually know if the game's gonna at least be competitive. Uh, not always on the draw, sometimes on the draw, but usually within the first couple turns, I have a pretty good idea if the game's gonna be competitive. I guess it's just kind of how it is for every deck, but uh, this hand, pretty good hand. Um, starting out with a Wishy Washy GX, great. Starting out with two energy, great. I have a dive ball, I'm gonna go snag another Wishy Washy, and then I'm gonna Cynthia out and draw six more cards. Pretty great. Pretty great opening hand. I draw another wishy-washy, dive ball for another wishy-washy, attack and energy, I consider going for the Juniper, I go for the Cynthia, I have a Juniper in there just because every once in a while you're down to like a couple cards and you really just need to fucking Juniper. I Cynthia, I get a, two more wishy, I get two more wishy-washy, a GX out, I massive catch for the last wishy-washy, I'm fucking powered up baby, I'm ready to go, I'm gonna start dealing a shit ton of damage. And yeah, this uh, this Snorlax EV pair just ain't ready for it, honestly. They really just ain't ready for it. Uh, Snorlax EV, not a great card against me, to be honest. Uh, Dump Charge Press, obviously uh, the 
full friendship press, but the uh, GX attack is really good. Kills me. It's a GX attack. Of course it is. Cheer up. Honestly. Good attack. Pretty good. Um, but dump truck press doesn't kill me uh, in one shot. And it's a uh, blues tactic. Honestly, I was very suspicious of blues tactic. Pretty good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I really enjoy using it. There's so many cases where it's, oh, I'm down to three cards. Oh, well, one of them's Blue's Tactics. I'll just replace that. But, like, I'm kind of done with my turn, but I'll just play Blue's Tactics, and, uh, oh, look at that. I'll just draw six cards. It's fucking nutty. I love playing it. So use the GX on me. Fair. You know. That's I. Play the Pokemon fan club. Get him out of the wishy washy. So many wishy washies. Yeah, he fucking team player grunts me, if you can believe it. I was very salty about it. Um, I just, you know, I'm not gonna tell him it's like a bad, obviously it's a good move, but I'm, okay, I'm just salty about it, okay? Come on. Yeah, so he's got this Tropius out. Uh, you know, find a friend is fine, I guess. I, if, if you know what happens, you know what happens. It's already happening. I am completely blind to it. I am not paying attention to it at all. What I'm concerned about is I want to kill. Um, I want to kill that Snorlax. So that's what I think the biggest threat is right now. Is if I know that Eevee is probably going to evolve into a Leafeon, and if that Eevee evolves into a Leafeon, I know it'll. If it becomes the starting Pokemon, I can start healing 50 damage to Snorlax pretty good <laughs> um, but I don't remember I never remember I know it's only active yeah so you evolves it and I'm like oh okay it's active Pokemon well that's not too bad it only heals if it's the active Pokemon so only probably able to do the one still I'm kind of concerned about this uh, about this Snorlax now I'm like looking real confused because he puts the double energy onto this Tropius, but it only works if he has more, um, yeah, he puts the counter gene on the Tropius, it only works if he has more prizes than me, which he doesn't, but I'm like, okay, he probably figures that I'm about to try to kill this Snorlax CV, so it's gonna have more, he's gonna have more prizes than me, but also, like, I don't really care about his 70 damage solar beam. I mean, I guess that's fine, but I, like, I don't really care, so, I attach the energy, I get the school storm out, destroy the storm, snag the three energy, snag the three prizes, three really good prizes, a Lysander, a fighting fury belt, and a how? Cause some good prizes right there. Sends out this Tropius again. And he puts the counter energy. Let's see if he does it. I think it's the same. He puts the counter energy on this Tropius again. I mean, first of all, why are you playing counter energy when you probably should be playing double colorless energy? 
Because it's all you're using them for? From what I've seen. These still are doing 70 damage. I'm not weak to grass, I'm weak to electric. So I don't super care. Once again, if you know what's happening, you know what's happening, okay? Um, so yeah. I'm just building up my back line, putting the Fighting Fury belt on stuff. Oh, man. <coughs> I just played that Fighting Fury belt, I don't want to go. But anyway, school's coming out. Alright, fucking fight. Whatever he plays next, I'll bring it that Leafy and I'll just kill it. Like, that's my that's my plan. I'm just gonna kill that Leafy on next turn, and I don't care. Uh, yeah, like, I'm literally not even paying attention to what he has. Plays the cricket tune. Puts the energy on it. I'm like, oh, improvisational performance. Oh, 100 damn, I still don't know. Like, 130, I don't care about that. Uh, I'm confused, so I guess it's annoying. If they have 6, it does 30 to all Pokemon. Wait. Cynthia, 6, 30. No! He kills every one of them. I wish he was. He's on the bench. Four of them for four prize cards. And fucking win. Oh.